Good morning, folks. Just a reminder that we have Damien Lewis on tonight talking about his fantastic book, SAS Italian Job. J Damien's been on a couple of World War II TV shows already. He joined our comics panel and he joined uh, to talk about his book, um, SAS Band of Brothers. That was last year, but this is part of Italy week. So he's talking about this operation that took place behind the Gothic line in March 1945. So in Italy, it wasn't just SAS. There was an SOE team on the ground. There was Italian partisans, some of whom included Soviet prisoners of war. It's a fantastic story about raiding this uh, headquarters, a German headquarters up in two villas in the mountains of Italy. It'll be an amazing show. Lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, Mike Lees, the SOE operative in the area, had a kind of a, a post-war... Um, uh, there was in, an intriguing story about why he wasn't to receive the military cross, and then we'll go into that. We'll go into the legacy of the operation in Italy, and it'll be a great show. I've just finished preparing a PowerPoint ready to use with lots of photos of SAS Jeeps and the villas and the people involved, and it'll be a really great show. So join us at 7 p.m. UK time tonight to hear Damien Lewis talk about SAS the Italian Job, which is just an amazing story. And like all of Damien's books, it reads like a thriller. But of course, it's a real story. So if you haven't bought the book already, just go and get it. What are you waiting for? It's a cracking read. And tonight he will tell more about the story. And it'll be great. So I'll see you then this evening at 7 p.m. UK time. As usual, folks, don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Don't forget to share what we're doing on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. We can still do with a few more subscribers. Um, Reminding also tomorrow night, we'll have an interesting panel discussion about the Italian Navy in World War II. I did a pre-chat last night with the three guests, and that'll be really intriguing, I think, to talk about the myths about the Italian Navy. And we're going to propose some quite interesting ideas. In fact, it was Italian ship design that was prompting the British to develop their Navy design, not so much what the Kriegsmarine were doing with the German Navy. The Italian Navy essentially have been misunderstood and are probably not given the credit they, they deserve for being a seriously a worthy opponent during World War II. But anyway, that's it. That's tomorrow's show. But tonight, SAS, Damien Lewis, Italy. I'll see you then, 7 p.m. UK time. This is Paul Woodard for World War II TV. Have a good afternoon.